Example number two, arm OB of the linkage has a clockwise angular velocity of 10 radians per second. In the position shown, this is a figure where yung theta natin is equal to 45 degrees. Determine the velocity of A, the velocity of D, and the angular velocity of link AB for the position shown. Hi everyone, this is Airstream Smart and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss a topic from dynamics of rigid bodies, the instantaneous center of zero velocity. So, without further ado, let's begin. In the previous lecture video natin, we determined the velocity of a point on a rigid body in plane motion by adding the relative velocity due to rotation about a convenient reference point to the velocity of the reference point. And ngayon, isasolve natin yung problem by choosing a unique reference point which momentarily has zero velocity. As far as velocities are concerned, yung body may be considered to be in pure rotation about an axis normal to the plane of motion passing through this point. This axis is called the instantaneous axis of zero velocity and the intersection of this axis with the plane of motion is called the instantaneous center of zero velocity. Itong approach na ito ay nagpo-provide sa atin ng valuable means for visualizing and analyzing velocities in plane motion. Locating the instantaneous center. Paano ba natin ilolocate yung instantaneous center? The existence of the instantaneous center is easily shown. We have another figure here. So we assume the directions of the absolute velocities of any two points, say A and B, on the body are known and are not parallel. Kung meron tayong isang point about which A has absolute circular motion at the instant considered, yung point na yun must lie on the normal 2 velocity of point A through A. Similar reasoning applies dun sa point B natin and the intersection of the two perpendiculars fulfills the requirement for an absolute center of rotation at the instant considered. In our figure, point C is the instantaneous center of zero velocity and may lie on or off the body. Kung nandun siya sa body, it may be visualized as lying on an imaginary extension of the body. The instantaneous center need to be a fixed point in the body or a fixed point in the plane. Ngayon, alam din natin na yung magnitude of the velocity of one of the points, say velocity of A, we may easily obtain the angular velocity of the body and the linear velocity of every point in the body. Thus, yung angular velocity of the body, makikita natin sa letter A figure natin. Yung angular velocity is equal to V of A over R of A or yung radius, which of course is also the angular velocity of every line in the body. Therefore, yung velocity ng B natin is velocity of B equals RB times the angular velocity. So, once the instantaneous center is located, yung direction of the instantaneous velocity of every point in the body is readily found since it must be perpendicular to the radial line joining the point in question with C. Kung yung velocities natin ng two points in a body having plane motion are parallel, makikita natin sa figure B and figure C. And the line joining the points is perpendicular to the direction of the velocities. Yung instantaneous center is located by direct proportion as shown nga dun sa ating figure. And makikita na agad natin dun sa figure B natin that as the parallel velocities become equal in magnitude, yung instantaneous center moves further away from the body and approaches infinity in the limit as the body stops rotating and translates only. Motion of the instantaneous center. As the body changes its position, yung instantaneous center is also changes its position both in space and on the body. We have another figure here. The locus in the instantaneous centers in space is known as the space centroid, while the locus of the positions of the instantaneous centers on the body is the body centroid. At the instant considered, yung two curves na makikita natin sa figure are tangent at the position of point C. It can be shown that the body centroid curve rolls on the space centroid curve during the motion of the body na makikita natin dito sa figure na ito. And although, yung instantaneous center of zero velocity natin is momentarily at rest, yung acceleration generally is not zero. Thus, etong point natin may not be used as an instantaneous center of zero acceleration in a manner analogous to its use for finding the velocity. Example number one, 
The wheel rolls to the right without slipping, with its center O having a velocity VO of 3 meters per second. Locate the instantaneous center of zero velocity and, its, and use it to find the velocity of point A for the position indicated. So, according to the problem, yung wheel daw ay nag-roll without sleeping and, and pag sinabi natin without sleeping, yung point on the rim of the wheel is contact with the ground has no velocity kung walang sleeping na nagaganap. And therefore, it is the instantaneous center of zero velocity. Yung angular velocity natin of the wheel becomes, using this formula, angular velocity equals V of R. And yung V natin dito is yung VO na given sa atin which is 3 meters per second. Over, ang R natin is yung line OC. So, nasan ba yung OC? This is the point O. And ito yung isa pa. This is the point A. Dito papunta yung ating velocity or yung point A natin as velocity of A. Yung points din natin ay nandito. This is the instantaneous center of zero velocity. So, lunglagay tayo dito ng another broken line. So, ang distance ng O to C is, of course, etong 300 mm. So, this is OC. Lalagay natin dito yung OC. And solving the angular velocity is equal to, ang VO natin is 3 meters per second over ang value ng line OC natin is equal to 0 0.3 meters. And calculating, angular velocity is equal to 10 rad per second. So again, nalocate na natin yung instantaneous center of zero velocity and ito lang sa sa baba. So ngayon, dahil nahanap na natin yung instantaneous center of zero velocity, gagamitin natin yan to find the velocity of point A for the position indicated or V of A. Kaya lang, alamin muna natin kung ano yung value ng line AC natin. Kaya nilagyan ko ng broken line nito. So, to solve for that, we will use again the law of cosine. For line AC, this is equal to, dahil naka-square ito, i-rect ang square na agad natin, 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.2 square, eto yan, itong radius na ito, itong radius RO, minus 2 times 0 0.3, times 0 0.2 cosine and ang angle natin is angle 120 degrees so ito yung angle na yan since ang sinasolve natin is yung line AC therefore masasolve na natin yung line AC by calculating line AC is equal to 0 0.436 meters and yung velocity of A natin therefore masasolve na natin so using the formula let V of R times angular velocity, yung V natin or simply the V of A na is equal to, yung R natin is yung eto. R na equal sa line AC which is na sinold natin kanina. Yan yung reason kung ba't sinold natin yung line AC kasi siya yung magsaserve as the radius dun sa velocity of point A natin. So this is line AC times the angular velocity na sinold natin kanina. Substituting the values, VA is equal to, this is 0 0.436 times the angular velocity na 10. V of A is now equal to 4.36 meters per second. So this is the answer for this problem. Yung direction of velocity of point A natin is perpendicular dun sa line AC. So ito yan and perpendicular siya dito. This is example number 1. Example number 2. Arm OB of the linkage has a clockwise angular velocity of 10 radians per second. In the position shown, this is a figure where yung theta natin is equal to 45 degrees. Determine the velocity of A, the velocity of D, and the angular velocity of link AB for the position shown. Yung directions ng velocities natin na A and B are tangent to their circular paths about the fixed centers O prime and O na makikita natin sa figure and yung intersection of two perpendiculars to the velocities from A and B locates the instantaneous center C for the link AB. The distances AC 
BC and yung DC natin shown in the diagram are computed or scaled from the drawing. So yung angular velocity natin of BC considered a line on the body extended is equal to the angular velocity of AC, DC, and AB. So nasan ba yung location ng instantaneous center of velocity natin? Let's draw another figure. So this is the point A and ito yung ating point B na nanggaling dito. This is the O prime and this is the O. Continuing here, nandito yung kanilang instantaneous center of velocity na point C. Ayan. And this is the point D. Again, dapat kaya natin i-locate or i-draw yung velocity sa bawat point. So, ang direction of velocity ng A is Papunta lang dito. For B, again, perpendicular. So, papaganyan siya. And ang point din natin is papaganyan. Perpendicular dun sa line, papunta dun sa instantaneous center of velocity. So, in distances AC, BC, and DC shown in the diagram, dito sa ginawa natin na diagram, are computed or scaled from the drawing. And yung angular velocity ng BC natin, considered a line on the body extended, is equal to the angular velocity of AC, DC, and AB. For the angular velocity na yan, angular velocity of BC is equal to velocity of B over ang R natin is, of course, yung BC, line BC. So, hindi natin alam yung exact value nitong velocity of B. Pero yung velocity of B niyan ay equal din sa, again, R times the angular velocity. Pero, ano yung R ng VB natin? Ang R niyan is line OB. Ito. Line OB times OB over line BC pa din. Masasolve na natin yung values. And ang value ng line OB natin is 6 times Square of 2 times the angular velocity na 10 over ang line BC natin is equal to 14 times square root of 2. Again, hindi na pinakita yung solution. It's a trigonometric solution sa basic mathematics natin. So, ang value ng angular velocity ng BC natin is equal to solving uh, 4.29 rad per second. And this is counterclockwise. For the values of the velocities ng A and D natin, VA is equal to R times angular velocity, of course. And for VA, ang R natin is equal to 14 inches. So, ito yan. Dito siya nakalocate, 14 inches. And of course, we have to convert it into feet. This is 14 over 12 and ang angular velocity natin is yung 4.29 rad per second. Computing the velocity of point A, this is equal to approximately 5.0 feet per second. For the velocity of D naman, R times angular velocity pa din. Ang value ng radius for the point D natin is, eto yan, is 15.23 inches. And again, i convert natin siya into feet. This is 15.23 over 12 para maging feet times the angular acceleration na 4.29. The value of velocity of point din natin ngayon is equal to 5.44 feet per second. So this is all the values for the example number 2.